<laughs> I know what I was doing looks really strange and it feels really strange when you first start oil pulling. When I first started about four years ago, I would only do it for about five minutes. That's all I could tolerate. I would do some dishes or something to distract my mind. But over time, I got to where I really enjoy it actually. I heard about oil pulling on a health program on television and they really sold me because they said it was great for helping your gums and also for sinuses and I had been having all these sinus infections. So once I started the pulling, it sort of pulls all that gunk out. I stopped having sinus infections. I didn't have to go on antibiotics anymore. I didn't have to go to the doctor anymore over it. So it really was life-changing for me. And as a result of doing it, after about a month, I noticed my teeth got really white. And I'd heard in the program also that it helped with gum disease. And I've had a few issues with my gums in the last 10 years. So I started it, and believe it or not, at the dentist office, they asked me how I was getting my teeth white. My hygienist said, have you been using those white strips? And I said, no, I don't use anything. All I'm using is coconut oil. She says, I gotta start doing that. So this has really been a game changer for me. And if you haven't tried it, it does take some getting used to, but I think it'll become a great habit for you too. I wish I had known about double cleansing so long ago. I probably went to bed with a dirty face most of my life, and that's really scary. I struggled with acne for so many years, so getting my face clean was really important, and I tried. It's not that I didn't wash my face, but I'd wash it once and be done, and then I would put on all the medicine that the dermatologist prescribed for me, which was usually some type of benzoyl peroxide or Retin-A. Well, once I heard about double cleansing, it made so much sense. And also what changed things for me was I started going for facials every six weeks. And I saw how much she cleansed my face when I went for the facial and how different I felt. My skin, when I would leave, I'd say, wow, it feels so clean. And I'd think, why? What is she doing different that I'm not doing at home? And it was double cleansing. So I always double cleanse now. I take off all my makeup with some type of oil cleanser. One that I really love is this one from the face shop. I ordered it on Amazon. It really can break down the eye makeup and get all the uh, foundation or BB cream, whatever I'm wearing, off my skin. And then I talked about this last week. I love this one that I bought at Walgreens, this nourishing hot cloth cleanser from uh, Your Good Skin. This is a new brand that they're carrying at Walgreens. This just gets all the rest of it off. And when you get those impurities off your skin, you're on the road to better skin health. I made a new discovery recently that I am so excited over and I keep going around telling everybody I know. This has been around forever. I am just really late to this party and it's goat's milk. I bought some things off of Etsy from someone who makes products made of goat's milk from their own goats from their farm. And what a difference. One thing that I bought from her is this facial scrub and she has pumice stone ground into this and it's so fine it feels even finer than say a sugar scrub. You almost wonder is there any kind of exfoliant in it but when you're done washing your face with it you know you have exfoliated. It feels amazing. She mixes the goat's milk into that scrub, which leaves you with just the softest, the softest feeling skin. I also bought a soap from her called Love Spell. I kidded with my husband. I said, I bought this to put you under my spell. He says, I've been under your spell for 33 years. But let me tell you, that made my arms just feel like silk. It was just so awesome. So I really recommend her products, the soap and the facial scrub. Most of us want full brows, but I'm not one of those people blessed with them. I have to work at it and I've made it part of my nightly routine to do something for my brows. 
For a long time I was using castor oil, but you know, it's so sticky and messy. And I was doing some research and found that aloe vera gel works great for many people. So I tried it and I absolutely love it. I've been putting it in my brows at night. I had a few areas where there were holes in my brows where I didn't have hair and they filled in. Now, what I also found was that this was great for my skin. I had been putting it everywhere, under my eyes, all over my face, on my arms. And what I like about the aloe vera gel, it sinks into your skin very quickly and leaves no residue or sticky feeling, which is great, especially for an oily skin girl like me. You can even use this in your hair as a hair gel. So if you haven't tried using aloe vera, I really recommend you give it a try. I've been wanting to grow my hair longer and I was over at Target shopping and I saw these liquid vitamins. And it said on the box here, this is what sort of got my attention, absorb up to 98% of the vitamins in the bloodstream versus 20% from pills. Now I've been taking biotin and hair pills for the last few months and saw some improvement, but I thought maybe this would work a lot better. Now this has vitamin A in it, it has some B vitamins, and then it's got biotin of course and MSM and a few other things that I know are good for hair growth. So I've been taking these for about a month and a half now. These vitamins, by the way, last two weeks, so I buy two bottles a month. So far, my hair is getting very thick. It is getting longer, but one of the things I'm noticing the most is it's getting very thick. Now, not only am I taking those vitamins, but I've been using this hair oil, which is supposed to encourage growth and massaging it in at night. Now, this smells amazing. It does smell like blueberries, and most of these hair oils have a very earthy smell. This has a sweeter smell. Now, so far, as I said, my hair, I have so much more hair that I can put into a ponytail, and it is getting longer, and the hairdresser said she's amazed at how the ends of my hair, especially in the front, are thickening up and filling in. She said, I used to be able to see through your hair there, and now I can't anymore. So I don't want to do a full video on these products for about six months. I want to really give them a go. But I know so many of you are like me. You would love your hair to be thicker and longer. So I will get back with you. But even at this point, I feel this habit I've adopted has been a really positive one. I'm so excited to announce the giveaway winners. The long lane goes to Marion Waitman. Congratulations, Marianne, and this goes the short bling to Crystal. It just said Crystal in the comments. So if you will look down below at my email address, please send me your information for mailing and I'll get these both out to both of you. It's time for another giveaway. I have two other gently used necklaces that I've had that I want to give to a friend. The first one is silver and it's got different colored beads in it, purple, blue, green, just really pretty. It goes nice with really about anything. And then this one is a shorter necklace. It does have a little bit of adjustment that you can make here, but it's got a crystal, pearls, and uh, silver here. So if you're interested, just put long bling, short bling, or just bling for either one of them. I really appreciate all of you. I hope these habits have been helpful. Let me know your beauty habits. I, I am up for adding something else to my routine, and I hope you have a great week. But my skin right now is a little red, and I've got something here that doesn't look so good. So that's really good for this video because we're trying to see if it's full coverage or not. So what you'll notice too with the ColourPop is even though they say full coverage, look at it running down my hand. 